Hi everybody, it's Randy Hilarski coming at you from the National Railway Museum in York, UK. And we're checking out these beautiful trains, steam, electric, anything you could think of. They've got it all here. We're really enjoying our visit to the UK so far. Um, my son's playing over in the kids play area, so I got a break to chat with my crypto community, especially my friends in Hex and Pulse Chain. Now, even though I can't do much since I didn't bring anything with me on this four month long trip, I still get to see the price and I still get to play around on Twitter and, and communicate with everybody. And it seems that a lot of the community are having a meltdown. And there's a couple things that are causing the meltdown. One of them is the price. I mean, the price is down 50% just in the last couple of weeks. And, and I understand that that really um, bends people out of shape. And we saw it before when Hex went from 50 cents down to 30 cents. A bunch of people lost their shit at that time. And now we're seeing it again as we go from, I think it was about 19 cents down to ooh, poultry seven, <laughs> seven cents. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm not looking at my staker app and those kind of things very much right now. Uh, yeah, I'm on vacation and I did sell some hex and I sold a bunch of crypto at the, at the heights. So I made sure I had a cushion. Now chalk that up to wisdom as uh, this is my third bull market. Um, I, when I got into, when I first got into Bitcoin in 2014, we were right at the end of a peak, right? It was uh, just come down from a thousand and I bought in at about 450. So <clears throat> I've been through this a couple times and I didn't want to be in the situation again. So I made sure I took out enough cash to live through another bear market. Uh, obviously I still have clients in our business, so that helps us survive. And, and I hope that um, those of you guys who are new to crypto learn that you need to have that backup plan. Uh, you, you just don't quit and stop working. Look at this. They do such a great job here. The attention to detail is amazing. I've never been one for attention to detail. I'm, I'm kind of a blunt instrument. And as someone that's a blunt instrument my, like myself can figure out how to do crypto, I think you can too, because a lot of you guys are smarter than me. Check out Rocket. Those of you guys who watch Thomas and Friends will recognize this train. <laughs> so yes, this one is from the Thomas and Friends series. All right, so the other thing I wanna talk about is what's going on with Richard and preparing for um, his documentary. Now, I've been saying it for a long time, Richard does this, he, he, he's out there letting everyone know who he is every day for our sake and for his, his own legacy. We all know that drama gets a lot of attention. And Richard's very good at it. Whether it's through his clothing or his interviews or his cars or the fact that he loves to troll. Richard's very good at that. He's very good at drawing attention to himself. And because he's good at drawing attention to himself, He's good at drawing attention to his projects, which include Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and 
our legacy hex. So for those of you guys who are worried about what's going on with the hex community or the hex price, I actually wouldn't worry too much because this is all part of the plan. Why, why should the price always go up? You have to have dips. You have to shake out the people that were just traders who were here for a short moment in time, who were trying to capitalize um, and use the long-term people as liquidity. It's written, man. Every crypto project takes a huge dump. They do it every cycle. And whether it's a 75, 85%, 95% dump, it's gonna happen. That's just how crypto works. So those of you guys who are dismayed, I'm sorry. Uh, you shouldn't have invested more than you could. But the, the key is to be prepared that it will turn around and the bull market will recover. It always does. Oh, they're cleaning a train over here. Let me stay away from the loud noises. <laughs> but here behind me is a diesel. So I'm going to keep coming, um, doing updates while I'm on the trip with these short pieces of content. Uh, it is difficult because I am using hotel Wi-Fi or, or internet to, to load these videos. So this is my first one. I'll see how long this takes. But I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get it done. And I, I hope everyone's having a, a great summer, those of you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, <laughs> supposedly, this, we're in spring here in, in York, but we're 13 degrees today. It, it, it's chilly. A little bit chilly for my liking since I, I do... You guys are used to seeing me uh, on the beach and enjoying the nice warm weather. So, uh, heads up, if you would like to meet us, if you guys are in Scotland, we will be there this weekend and next week. Uh, it's either, actually I can't remember what day it is exactly. I will put it in the video. You guys can meet us. We're gonna be in Edinburgh. And then two weeks later, you can meet us in Glasgow. Okay. And I wanna show you one more thing that I thought was quite bizarre, this picture. They don't try to hide it in the UK, do they? <laughs> I see what you did there, guys. All right, cheers.